What's going on everybody? Autofanatic CT coming at you with an exciting video. Before I get started, I want to thank each and every one of you. We are almost at 700 and it makes me so excited to see that man. The uh, It's climbing and climbing. And um, before we get started on this video though, I'm going to ask you, 95% of my viewers are not subscribers. It was actually pretty surprising to me. So if you wouldn't mind taking a moment and subscribing and hitting that bell notification, it helps me out a lot. And it really, really motivates me to keep making more videos for you guys. Let's see how long it takes us to get to 800. 700, let's go back to 700. 700, let's see how long it takes. So anyways, guys, here we go. I got my 2024 M340 LCI that I just added a bunch of M performance parts on. As you can see, the difference, the front lip. This is a three-piece lip, gloss black. You know, I went with that just to match everything else. And I do have some really exciting upgrades to show you. Ooh, and I get it. Everyone's doing it. But guess what? No one around here got it. Got the dining suspension that is in with the supplemental ride handling kit. IND painted deflectors. Got the stud kit. And these, to the keen eye, you'll notice that they are the A90 forged 19 by 9 in the front, 19 by 10 in the rear Toyota Super Wheels. So I want you guys to remember something. Toyota and BMW did a joint venture, and as you guys already know, the um, Big Dog Supra got the B58 engine in it, and a lot of the parts are interchangeable. So these wheels fit like a glove. Like I said, I did go with the extended studs. Of course, you know, got them wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sports. And I know you're gonna ask, how is it possible you have an X-Drive? What's your tire setup? Let me tell you, my fronts are 245, 40, R19. In the rear, as we go to the rear, you're gonna see the M Performance side skirts that I installed. The rear are 275, 35, 19. As you can see, no space in there. Beautiful. This, my friends, is the exact setup you need to run on a staggered, for a staggered car with X-Drive. 245, 40 in the front. I do have a ECS tuning spacer there on the front only. 12.5, makes it sit nice and flush. I like how concave these wheels are. It gives it a much more aggressive look. As you guys can see. What do you guys think? Big changes, huh? Got the side and performance side skirts. Got the wheels. Got the suspension. Got the G80 M3 wing on the rear now. I got rid of just that little black M3 looking wing. It was nice. Got a little bit of attitude to it, but it's completely OEM. I went with the gloss black badge this car is coming out crazy guys completely different attitude on this car completely let me know what you guys think came out superb so as far as the suspension goes it rides just like stock tiny 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 bit of bounce tiny when I'm telling you tiny you wouldn't even know the difference if you got in it from the beginning but I did go with the bump stop kit from Dynan as well. Cost a little bit more, but it was well worth it. I did go with this uh, suspension setup because I wanted a mild drop, and as you know, I got this crazy driveway, so I don't want to do any damage to my car. It rides incredible. With the suspension done, with the wider wheels on the front and the rear, and I did uh, also pick up some non-run flat Continental DWS 06 Pluses on my stock wheels. And I went with a little bit wider. I went with 235, 40, R19. 
to give the car a little bit of attitude and a little bit better handling come time when I put the all seasons back on. Of course, you know, I got the tinted windows. What are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments. A lot of people on um, Facebook on like the G20, um, you know, forums were basically saying that this drop isn't right, doesn't look good, it's too high, or the wheels look like Honda Accord wheels. I'm telling you guys, you got to see them in person. When you see this in person, it's a game changer. I was on the fence about them before I put them on. On the car, people that were unsure about it after they saw it, they said it looks like this wheel was made for this car. They actually, dare I say, look better on this M340 than they do on the Toyota Supra. So if you guys are looking for a really nice forged wheel, a 10 inch rear and a nine inch front, do know, go online and look and see what those, those type of wheels are running you. Without tires, you're looking at well over 2,000, 2,500, three grand and up. So a lot of people are polishing them up. A lot of people are taking these and powder coating them bronze and gloss black, matte black, or completely polishing the wheel. I think this one kind of goes with my theme. Again, I'm loving the front end. Look at that drop though, it's perfect. Auto Fanatic game playing, man. Look at this. I don't know, man, but this coming at you looks pretty mean. So a completely different mindset than my last Portima Blue 21 M340. That one I left completely stock other than like minor things like tires and studs and tents. This one I went with the side skirts. I went with front lip, which minor, let me just say, my beautiful wife hooked me up for Christmas, so that was a Christmas present. Can't beat that. It was very easy to install, actually, as well. You basically start on one end. So I started here, self-topping. Well, I use self-topping screws, but use the existing hardware as well, so you're not drilling a bunch of stuff into your bumper. That center piece is one piece. Right here, that's all one piece. So you got one piece here, one piece here, and then one piece here, it's a three piece, but it looks like one because it kind of intertwines as you can see and it goes with everything else, all the gloss black. So really, really, really excited about this, this uh, setup here that I got going. Like I said, the side skirts are beautiful. Car got attitude now. You know, as you guys already know, I really wanted a G80 M3, but I couldn't justify the price. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna have some fun with this one. And I get it, it's some time away before my lease is up on this, but this one, by me making it my own, more and more, it's making me want to keep this car because I don't really want to see anybody else drive this car. So let me know what you guys think. I will get more into uh, the handling and all that other stuff in a different video, but I wanted to share the new look and <laughs> let me know what you guys think. We still got some other goodies that we're going to do to the car. We're not done, guys. We are not done. Please let me know what you think. And if you haven't, like I said, it's free, it's easy, and it doesn't cost you guys a damn thing. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Please comment. It helps with the algorithm. If you're feeling it, let me know. If you're not feeling it, let me know. And also remember, guys, wheels are temporary. You could change them up. You could switch them out. Little by little, you'll see more and more people doing these super wheels. So I had to get mine on quick. And then little by little, we'll see. Maybe we'll do something different with the wheels at one point. But for now, this is the setup. This is going to be the summer, summer, summer time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you. We're building the channel up. It's sitting pretty, riding even better. Auto Fanatic CT, man, coming to a city near you. B58, boy. Wrapped in the Michelins. No, no expenses spared. And performance parts. And you got the Tacora just peeking. Just got the red peeking. All right, guys, like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you soon. We out.